Doom Eternal puts a much larger emphasis on resource management than its predecessor, which is something that not all players appreciate. Many just wanted more of Doom 2016 and nothing else, so they say that the reduced ammo capacity is something which completely ruins the game. They would argue that they would constantly run out of ammo and have to go chase down a fodder enemy to chainsaw, which in turn causes them to disengage from combat with the heavies, thus slowing down the gameplay. I understand where they're coming from, because I was one of them for the first 50 hours or so spent with the game, but then I realized I've been using the chainsaw completely wrong. In Doom 2016, I used the chainsaw mostly for deleting heavy enemies, if an encounter wasn't going my way, and Doom Eternal introduced the chainsaw as a means of getting ammo. So the combination of these two factors gave me a completely wrong idea about how resource management works. I tried to hoard fuel so I could chainsaw heavies, but then I would run out of ammo constantly and get frustrated because I always had to chainsaw fodder enemies and almost never had enough fuel to chainsaw something like a mancubus. I I also always waited for the clicking sound of one of my empty guns before I used the chainsaw, so I always ended up disengaging and running after a nymph or gargoyle to chainsaw, before going back to shooting a tyrant until it dies. The ammo economy of Doom Eternal almost caused me to quit the game and never touch it again, but I stuck with it, and at some point I realized something. The correct way to manage resources in Doom Eternal is to not think about managing resources at all. This might sound crazy, but let me explain. The chainsaw is not a tool which you should use only when you need ammo. Think of it as something you use to get invincibility frames and take out dangerous fodder enemies that get too close. There are fodder enemies like the shield guys and gargoyles which are absolutely deadly up close but can be taken care of easily by just chainsawing them. The chainsaw can also be used to enhance your mobility and get you out of harm's way. When you are within chainsaw range of an enemy, you can use the chainsaw and you will teleport directly to them, initiating the chainsaw animation. If you are surrounded by heavies, you can just use the chainsaw on a fodder enemy to get some invincibility frames and use this time to come up with a plan. Notice that in these examples I did not mention anything about ammo. This is because I never think about ammo while using the chainsaw. Others will say that Doom Eternal is a tactical game which requires you to strategize in order to not run out of ammo, but I disagree. Doom Eternal gives you way more ammo than any other game as long as you use the chainsaw as a weapon which clears out dangerous fodder and gives you invincibility frames. From the gameplay in the background, you see that I don't really think much and just rush in with a lot of quick switching and blood punches. And I have the gold skin, which means that this way of playing the game is viable even on Ultra Nightmare. Sure, you won't be speedrunning the game playing like this, but you will be able to perform very well even on the highest difficulty and have a ton of fun. Now, let me discuss how you can establish habits which will allow you to incorporate resource management into the combat flow. My recommendation is to disable all hood elements with the exception of the blood punch gauge and then playing through the game start to finish. This will make you learn how to do a few things subconsciously. The first is to glory kill and use the flame belch a lot more since you have nothing to indicate when you're close to death or when you're at full health and armor. Equip the savagery rune and go crazy. The second thing you're going to learn is to rely more on the blood punch and chainsaw, since your aim is going to be noticeably worse because of the lack of crosshair. The last benefit of playing Doom Eternal with no hood is that it is the best aim trainer. After my first Ultra Nightmare run, which was done with no hood, I noticed that my aim had improved noticeably in all FPS games I play. To sum everything up, the correct way to manage resources in Doom Eternal is to not manage them in the first place. If you go through a no hood run on a sufficiently challenging difficulty, you will break all of your bad habits, like using the chainsaw only when you're out of ammo. In addition, you will also learn how to manage your health and armor better, while simultaneously adopting a faster, more aggressive playstyle, making your time spent with the game much more enjoyable. This is all for this video, if you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe, and see you in the next one.